So today's mic drop is for all of you dedicated Nats fans. There are plenty of them walking around this station, a couple of them in the studio right now with me. I'm wondering how everybody's feeling after Monday's announcement that the learners have, quote, begun the process of exploring potential changes in the club's ownership structure, including possibly selling the team. Now, for those of you who pay no attention to baseball or D.C. sports, let me set this up for you. In 2006, DMV real estate tycoon and builder of shopping malls Ted Lerner bought the Nats from Major League Baseball for the bargain basement price of $450 million. And, unlike, and, and their ownership, unlike others in this town, has proven fruitful for the team, fans, and the city. They've won division titles. They've been to the postseason multiple times. And, and oh yeah, remember this, 2019? They won the World Series! It's also proven fruitful for the Lerner family because the team is now valued at roughly $2 billion. Not too shabby of a return on their investment. And now it looks like they're about ready to cash out. The American way, right? Buy low, sell high, and then make it rain. Possibly. I mean, a sale isn't imminent or anything. They did just say that they're exploring potential changes with the possibility of selling, but they know that's not going to stop us from talking about it. And we all want to know the same thing. If they're selling, who's buying? We know this. It's got to be somebody with deep, deep pockets, right? Pockets like this. I can't even believe we find these pictures on, on photo stock. Like, who just says, hey, stuff a bunch of money in your pockets and take this picture. Somebody will buy it. All right, so deep pockets got to be there. That immediately rules out 99% of the population, right? We're talking about a person or a group of persons who's capable of making a $2 billion impulse buy. I have a couple of potentials in mind. Somebody like Bezos, right? Jeff Bezos, an obvious choice. Why wouldn't he want to buy the team? He lives here sometimes when he's not in space on a private jet chilling in a yacht or stretching out on a string of South Pacific islands we never heard of. Money's no problem. And he probably has that amount in the ashtray of one of his cars. And he's bored, right? He didn't go into space for research. He was just looking for something to do. I hope he puts in a bid for the team. And then his ex-wife, Mackenzie Scott, puts in a counter bid. She's got the money, and having her as an owner would be a good look for MLB. And wouldn't you like to see the messiness of it all? It could be our very own Ted Lasso. Speaking of messiness, grab an air sick bag. How about an ownership group made up of Kanye West, Jared Kushner, and, and Donald Trump? I'm sure the fan base would love to have a former president representing them. The first order of business for the group at Nats Park, the team being outfitted in Yeezy cleats and all concessions run by McDonald's. Score! How about Oprah? Oprah, again, money no object. It's a good look for MLB, and every night is a free giveaway night. You get a hot dog, and you get a hot dog. Everybody gets a hot dog. And finally, there is always Dan Snyder. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I think the racing presidents have actually signed executive orders, barring that from ever happening. Please, God, don't let it be Dan Snyder. DC does not deserve that. Now, on the other hand, if the Orioles were for sale, come on, Dan, just saying. All right, that's going to do it for us tonight on Open Mic. We're back same time tomorrow. We've got a great pass the mic tomorrow. We're going to be talking about Ruth Bader Ginsburg and some of her items going up for auction in Alexandria. Join me tomorrow at 7. Bruce, Reese again, just on spring break. So I'll be here chilling. Have a great night.